It's been an extremely lucrative 2022 for me when it comes to the volume of uh, pen tests I perform for clients. And despite the fact that most of the applications uh, I tested were unique in their own rights, there has been a common thread when it comes to the types of vulnerabilities I encountered most frequently. And I'll mention the top three here. And despite the fact that these issues are not critical on their own account, they can more often than not open the door and contribute to more serious vulnerabilities. All right, so let me start with rate limit bypass. Most of the applications uh, I test or I tested have some sort of login functionality or authentication mechanism that involves providing credentials so that you can access certain features. And one of the numerous tests I perform is to see whether or not the uh, rate limits have been imposed when abusing uh, these mechanisms. In more than half of the pen tests, this has not been the case. Again, this in of itself might not be a serious vulnerability, but combine it with a weak password policy, for example, and this easily enables the compromising of users' accounts. Number two, session token not invalidated upon logout. I guess the title of this vulnerability explains its essence in that upon user logout, the session token has not been invalidated, which should always be the case. The token should be invalidated upon logout. If the session token is not invalidated and if the validity of the token or the time to expiry is long, this opens the door for the token to be leaked in different ways, such as is the case for data breaches, breaching server logs, or other vulnerabilities. Number three, missing security headers. If you're hunting for bugs, most of the programs will not accept this or the other two that I mentioned before as being valid submissions. They usually perform internal and or external pen tests and they clear out the majority of the vulnerabilities, the majority of low-hanging fruits and not so low-hanging fruits. What's usually left for the hunter are the very complex vulnerabilities or low severity vulnerabilities on fresh, untested assets. Thus, you'd have to monitor a company's assets 24-7 to catch these as they arise. Anyhow, that's one of the reasons I prefer working with clients on pen tests because any finding is a valid finding. And that is also the case for uh, missing security headers. More than half of the applications I tested last year miss security headers such as X-Frame Options, Content Security Policy, X XSS Protection, X Content Type Options, Strict Transfer Security, and or different cookie flags or headers. As is the case for the previous two, this for the previous two vulnerabilities, this can become an issue, for example, when you're vulnerable to XSS. If you're vulnerable to XSS and you have a solid content security policy, you can prevent a large proportion of XSS attacks. And this has only been a quick example of attack vectors. Now, I've covered more of the most common vulnerabilities I found throughout 2022 while working with clients in a previous video earlier in 2022. You can check it out if you want. In 2023, I'll keep on cataloging and keeping track of all the vulnerabilities I find in my pen tests and AppSec projects. So stay tuned for more.